Hello everybody and welcome back to another CB Showtunes tutorial. Now today what we're going to be discussing is what is a float? Now if you've ever watched any of my videos before, you ever watched somebody else program before, uh, then you're going to notice us get floats. But what exactly is a float? Why do we use floats? So a float is essentially a decimal. It's a fraction to where it could be a whole number but it could also be part of a number. So if you're still in grade school, you don't understand what a fraction or a decimal is, let me go and explain it a little bit more in detail. So let's just say that we're going to create a float. So you're going to need to call the variable. So it's a float. But we need to know what this float is called. What is this float? Uh, so we're going to say this is a chocolate pie. Mm, pie, by the way. So this chocolate pie is equal to how many pieces so say for instance we have one fraction of a chocolate pie and you need to add a semicolon at the end as a closed off so we now have one chocolate pie but let's just say billy oh man billy he comes along and steals three quarters of the pie because you know i really wanted that three quarters of the pie and he just took it from me so now I only have 0 0.25 pi left, or one quarter of a fry pi left. So in other words, a float can change its value from a whole number to a part of a number. And of course, you can even raise the value to whatever number you want. It essentially can be any number that is below or above a decimal point. 